Hello everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today we are doing another Christmas card using one of our beautiful sweets. Um, this is the Christmas Gleaming stamp set. Um, this actually coordinates with two punches, so when you purchase the bundle you'll get the two punches as well as the stamp set at a 10% saving, so it's a great deal. Um, I love this stamp set because the DSP that coordinates with it has some copper accents, and I just love that. Um, so this is one side of the designer series paper, and this is the other side. So very versatile. You could use this for non-holiday um, very easily, as well as these stars here. Um, but I chose to do a pretty holiday card as I'm trying to get going on all of that. Um, so let's show you how I created this. I'm actually using um, thick, very vanilla for our card base. So this is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We are going to open it this way. Um, we are going to be using some regular, very vanilla as well as copper foil. We're going to cut two of our nested stitched labels um, with these pieces. And then we're going to use our Pretty Pink Cock uh, ink pad. And then I've done some heat embossing, and I've actually done that in advance. I know you guys have seen me heat emboss before. So I did the Merry Christmas sentiment um, with the copper uh, embossing powder. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's do our die cutting first so we can get that out of the way. I'll grab my die cut machine. We are going to do the larger um, stitched label in the copper. Gorgeous. And let's do our very vanilla. It's one size down in those stitched labels. There we go. All right, now we will be done with our die machine. Let's get that out of our way. Now we can also punch our ornaments. So these ornaments would be gorgeous embossed as well. I actually considered that, um, but I thought, well, let me use some of this pretty, pretty paper. So let me grab, I used this piece and then I used a uh, coordinating piece and as you know if you're one of my subscribers um, I am in love with the pretty peacock so it I'm I'm sure you're not totally surprised that I am using that color again and it's so pretty with the copper it's just gorgeous together okay all right so we have that ready we have our sentiment ready let me grab a piece of scratch paper. We're going to open up our pretty peacock and we are going to take that big holly and we are going to ink, whoops, I see I missed a spot there. What? Let me see in the center. It doesn't want to ink. Okay, that's quite juicy. All right, we are going to create our own background here. All the way around. Oops. And I'm just turning my stamp here as I go. Right. Beautiful. Okay. And then while we have our pretty peacock open, I'm going to grab our very vanilla label. And I'm going to grab our sentiment and be jolly this season. We're going to ink that up as well, and we are going to stamp that right here on the lower left side. All right, now we can begin to kind of assemble things. So I am going to use some tear and tape today. You could use your liquid glue here, I just don't want to get glue all over the place. I'm going to put some tear and tape on the back of my label. I just want to be sure it holds with the foil. 
that is good. Let's get the backings off of there. Okay. This copper is so pretty in the vanilla. Love it! I'm just really, really loving this combo. Okay. Let's get some more since we got it out. Okay, and doesn't that pretty peacock just pop on the vanilla here with that big holly? I love the size of the images in this set as well. That's another thing that I love. All right, so let's get some mini dimensionals here. I'm going to put a bunch of these on our ornaments. And we're also going to put some on our sentiment there that I had embossed previous. So we are going to place that there. We're going to put a dimensional on each of the sides here. I think we'll put one up there as well. I'm going to try to tuck this in a little bit. It'll be stuck to my fingers. Yeah, so I just want to kind of that one's a little bit higher than my original, but that's okay. They don't have to be identical. All right, let's peel the backings off of these. All right. Merry Christmas and be jolly this season. I love it. Okay, and now I just have to find, and I thought I cut it already. Maybe I didn't. Let me get a piece of my copper trim. We are going to make ourselves a little bow. Off all this copper we've got going on. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let me get a glue dot. I'm going to put that right to the knot. And we are going to lay that on our ornament here. And what I love about this trim is you can kind of manipulate it a little bit. It's pretty good about laying where you want it. And it can be frayed um, as well. We're just going to kind of keep it neat. Um, but that completes our card. Isn't that beautiful? I just love these colors. I think this is definitely some of my favorite um, colors this season. So I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I definitely loved spending some time with you this week. Um, if you are looking for a full supply list, you can find that in the description of the video or you can visit my blog, um, we'll, which will also have pictures on the supply list. Um, and I look forward to being back with you guys real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.